All right, what is going on everybody? Physio Trader here, uh, going to jump in. Had a question about how to add margin uh, to the account. So I've got Charles Schwab's platform Street Smart Edge over here. So I'm just gonna pull that guy up. And um, so what we got here, you know, if you're familiar with the screen, essentially when I opened this up to start the video, I saw that Zoom uh, gave some earnings reports down around $50, almost 12%. And um, so I went long uh, 100 shares at 308, took out 50 of, or I'm sorry, went long 50 shares, took out 25 of them at uh, 312 for a hundred dollar move, uh, and then I'm I'm trying to let this one work for me right now, sitting around a 42 dollar loss on those remaining 25 shares. But if you can get up to 316, then I will start to close out more of that position. Um, either way, that wasn't about it. Just wanted to kind of touch on that since uh, it it just happened. So. Uh, the question is about adding margin to account. Essentially, um, if you don't know, margin is when you have the ability to get in and out of a position or really, well, let's back up a minute. Margin is where you have the ability to get a little bit more money. You get a loan on your money to you know, use more money to buy or sell shares or options or whatever you know, vehicle you're using to have more capital or money to work with. And so traditionally, when people think of margin, you think of uh, what's known as four to one, uh, where you get $3 for every $1 you have in your account. So if you have a $1,000 account, typically brokers do require a minimum of 2,000. So let's, let's just use their number. If you have $2,000 in your account, you'll get an additional $3 uh, for every dollar you have. So you'll get an additional $6,000 to work with, capital to work with, and a total of $8,000 in the account, which is known as you know four to one. Some some refer to it as three to one. Um, whatever way you look at it, that's it. But um, what some people don't know, and I didn't know this myself until around a year ago, is that you can actually get another type of margin. So that type of margin is only eligible or available to be used in a standard brokerage account. Those are the same type of accounts that if you get over uh, the $25,000 limit, what is known as the pattern day trader rule, or what some people like to call it the poor day traders rule, is that once you have $25,000 of your own equity, you get to work with up to $100,000, because of course four to one, and uh, you get to have unlimited potential. You get to get in and out of that position as many times as you want because you're over that pattern day trader threshold and you can buy and uh, sell as many shares as you want and uh, you don't have to worry about that PDT rule. If you have any questions about PDT, I'm sure there's a million other videos about it and we could talk about it later, but just for the simplicity of making this a little bit quicker, we're gonna skip past this and suggest that you know it. Um, but what most people don't know is you can actually access what is known as a limited margin uh, agreement or limit margin settlement agreement, which is for accounts that are say retirement accounts, 401ks, uh, a Roth IRA or a traditional IRA or a trust, custodial account, things like that. You can get what is known as limited margin, which does not give you margin buying power. You are not able to, um, you're not able to get four to one. You just get whatever your, whatever is in your account uh, value, your account equity then you have that ability to use that as many times as you wish, as long as you're over the $25,000 limit because you do need to pass that pattern day trader rule, but you get margin settlement. And uh, so you won't get, uh, you don't get the ability to borrow against those funds, so you don't get to sell short or go short, and you don't get any additional buying power than what is in your account, but you do, let's say for instance, you have a $50,000 account in your retirement account, and you don't wanna wait for that time to settle every T plus two settlement that is required by FINRA, well, you wanna use that money right away, you wanna kinda of play that cycle, then you can get something known as margin settlement. So I'm gonna show you how to do it right here on the platform. So if you don't have the platform, no worries, this is really gonna go straight to the, the website dialogue anyway, but if you're on the platform, you're just gonna go over to the schwab.com, um, which surprise, surprise, is gonna take you right to schwab.com anyway, and you're just gonna go down here to uh, margin requirements. So let's give it a second, it's loading up on a different screen. And so let me take you over to, okay, so I wanna take you over to the screen. So this is essentially exactly what loaded. So um, what you're gonna do is you are actually going to go over here to service. Let's we'll see here um, on that service tab, it's gonna have your account number and you'll scroll down and you'll see where it says, um, you're gonna see where it says option trading, uh, and they'll have something that says apply for mar or apply for option trading uh, margin, uh, and it'll tell you to apply for margin there. Um, 
and you know but you can see here is that i already have margin you know eligible for this account and i already have level one options for this account as well um so let me give you just all right so right here i pulled up um my wife's account to kind of showcase what it would look like so we're not going to do anything on this one but i just wanted to show you what it would look like if you do not already have it that is of course uh, what you'd be here for. So right here it says uh, option trading, none. Uh, and you can see here it says apply for option trading and then margin. Um, this one says apply for limited margin. That is because this specific, this specific account type is uh, a Roth IRA. And so she does not have the ability to get uh, margin with increased margin buying power. You would get um, uh, limited margin or what's known as a settlement margin or margin settlement. So you click that. Basically, you'll just go through this and it'll go through, you know, what do you need? It will tell you that you do need a, uh, a minimum margin equity of 25,000. If it falls below 25,000, your account will be restricted. You will not be able to trade at all. Uh, essentially, you will obtain a margin call until the account is above 25,000. So it is a risk. Uh, you must maintain that $25,000 minimum balance at all times. Anytime it goes below that level, then you will lose your opportunity for that. Um, and the only way to get out of that margin is, or out of that margin call is to fund it. You'll have to put more money in the account directly. So I don't recommend you get a margin settlement the second you hit 25,000. I really wouldn't even recommend it until you get to at least 30, 35,000 because you want that buffer. You don't wanna start trading on tilt. You don't wanna take a couple losses just because the market goes against you and then your account gets locked. You can't do anything with it uh, just because there, there was a, you know, a downfall. So you really don't want that, but either way, if you do it, you're going to click, you know, enroll in margin. You'll click that and then go through it. Now, like I said, I'm not going to do it here, um, but I wanted to showcase what it would look like. So um, one more thing. So and then if you were adding margin to your account. So that is how you're going to do it. Um, but if you want to add just standard margin to your account, then I want to show you what the form is going to look like. So again, if you're doing limited margin with a Roth IRA or uh, some other form of IRA trust custodial account that does not have the ability to have standard margin, uh, then you are going to get that limited, um, that limited margin settlement. But if you do have the ability to get standard margin, this is what it is going to look like. Uh, here's the thing. Like I said, that was just by clicking the buttons that you saw below. Um, and this is gonna say, now it does say add option trading and margin to your account. It's the exact same form. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in there, you're gonna type in your account number. Uh, this is a fillable form, so you can just go on the website, type it in, uh, and then you're gonna say, I want to add margin to my account. And it will say, if you are not eligible, retirement accounts such as 401ks, Roth IRAs, IRAs are not eligible, in which case uh, you won't see this form if you're doing it the way I just showed you. It will pull up what account uh, what margin type you're allowed to get based on the account type that you have. Now, uh, if you wanna add margin, you'll just click that, sign uh, sign all of that, and then you'll go down, and then this talks about options. And now, if you wanna do options, now you can do options or not. Uh, for me, when I originally signed up with margin, I did margin years before I ever signed up for options. And then, so you just go out and refill out a new one and you do it. But it does go through, it's a several pages long. It asks all of your history, your uh, employment history, how much money you make, things like that. Um, if you're not willing to share that, then you're not gonna get approved for it. Uh, again, this is your financial institution here. Uh, going through it, it's gonna ask what your experience is with margin, what your experience is with um, options. Uh, be honest, do not lie, do not say something just so you can get extensive on both of these, just so they give you um, you know, level two or level three options, whatever the, the maximum one is. I don't do any iron condors, strangle straddles, anything like that, uncovered calls, uncovered puts. That's not my style, so um, I certainly only have level one option um, based on the different rates, but essentially just go through all of this, uh, several page agreement, a lot of this is just the, the jargon at the end. You'll sign it and then you will submit it on the website. Uh, so under the services, you're just gonna go over to the message center and in that message center, you'll just drag and drop, you'll upload that document. It will take like five to 10 business days. It used to be a lot faster, but now everybody's trying to get margin, everyone's trying to get option levels approved. So. Um, so over here, I just wanted to showcase, this is a standard individual brokerage account. So as you can see over here, when it says margin borrowing, this one says apply for margin borrowing. It does not say apply for limited margin. Uh, that is just to showcase whatever account you have selected, it will give you the right form. And then of course we did just go through that form, the exact one that's gonna show you. So again, um, 
you don't have to worry about which one am I supposed to click because if you go this route, it will give you, you know, can you apply for standard margin or limited margin if you go through these steps in that order. Fill it out, sign it, submit it. It'll take a couple days. You will get an email from Schwab if you're using Schwab. You'll get an email from Schwab uh, not to the platform, but to your account and typically an email if you're set up for email contact, which will tell you that your options have uh, either option account has been approved and or your margin account has been approved. Typically, I think I still get stuff in the mail like three weeks later, you know, also, a, you know, physical hand copy as well or paper copy as well. So Hopefully this was able to help you out. If you have any questions, please reach out in the comment section and let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you all next time.